Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Our Lord and our Savior. The elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahabla, Bachir, Shasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at you again with another lesson. Bahar Chachara, Shalom, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of All Empires Fall. All Empires Fall. I was uh, just having this conversation with this dude at my gig, this Jake at my gig. And, um, you know, one thing led to another, and we end up talking about politics briefly because niggas really don't know shit. Niggas just talk to talk, so you just let niggas talk and see where they at. Uh, nonetheless, he was talking about uh, the end, you know, the end of this world and how... You know, Biden is a joke. Motherfuckers going to tweak if um, Trump get in office or even if Kamala Harris get in office. You know, so I was just throwing little things out there. I I've, I've done known this dude since for the past decade. You know, so I've been telling him. Uh, I've been telling him, you know, he know that he a Jake. He seen me out there preaching, you know. He already know that, but just recently he uh oh this is how the conversation started. He was drinking this this damn bang energy drink. I was like, man, I'm disappointed in you, cause not too long ago he was on his health tip, not eating meat, all on the fruits and Doctor Sebi and you know the pharmaceutical industry and all that other shit. And now he pretty much reverted back. He said, man, I needed it today, man. I'm like, man, you ain't need this on your mind. Da 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 da. All right, then we end up talking, you know, the, the conversation them going a little bit deeper. And he was saying that uh, how these people are moving like, you know, ain't shit going on. And, and I was like, yeah, they they moving like this empire is in falling. And because they don't. Rome fell. Greece fell. The medial, the medial Persian Empire, it fell. The Babylonians, they fell. <laughs> OK. Egypt fell, and America is no different. Really, America is an amalgamation of all those different empires, and we are witnessing the fall of this place. We are witnessing the end of this world. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, and verse. Six, it says, then did I consider these things and they all were made through me alone and through none other by me also. They shall be ended and by none other. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is ending this place. OK. He's bringing America, he's bringing Esau Edom's rulership to an end. And it will never rise again. Isaiah 14 and 21, it says, prepare slaughter. For the iniquity of their forefathers that they do not rise nor fill the face of the earth with their cities. In the book of Malachi, the first chapter, it says, whatever Esau, Edom builds up, the Lord is going to throw down. So when the Demic was at its peak, at least the first one. You had this slogan that the different world leaders was using, which was build back better. So they're in the process of forwarding of trying to forward their enterprise of trying to uh what do you say total control right of trying to gain total control upon the uh, uh, upon the planet and everything on the planet people included in they're trying to do that by this digital system by ai and the uh, and the chip okay ai and the chip the motb Okay, and that's right around the corner. It's not going to take much, and things are going to speed up. We was also, I was having that, that conversation, um, you know, in the midst of that conversation that I was having, talking about how time was speeding up. Regular people is feeling this. Regular, I'm talking about niggas, man. <laughs> I'm talking about 
talking about whores, like a, a bitch that she just she's just a complete hoe. But even if you had a conversation with her, she'd be like, yeah, the time is going by so fast. You know, and why is that? Because the Lord, let's let's just read it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 22. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the Lord is shortening the days and bringing an end to this society. That's why time is going by faster. That's why we're running through the days. We're running through the weeks, through the months, through the years. That's why... We are at the end of summer. I'm telling them, I was like, he's like, man, the summer felt like two months. I'm like, man, this shit felt like three weeks. Back even when I was younger, I'm not old by any means. I feel like it sometimes, but 15 years ago, the summers felt long as fuck. Okay? Or 20 years ago. Right? As an elementary, as, as an elementary child, student, and them summers felt long as hell. The three month summer vacation felt like six months. Come back to school, it'd be a whole new fucking person. Now the the three month the three month um. Now the three month summer feels like three weeks. And we just gave you the explanation why. There's an article that I think it came out last year or whenever it came out. <laughs> These days is going by so fast. My perception, my perception of time is thrown off. All right. But it was, in, it, was, it was within the last year or two where they had an article that said that the uh, earth is spinning faster on its axis than it ever has. Right. And that's Esau trying to bring an explanation. Well, yeah, the earth, it's spinning. You know, try to be deep like he knows. The nigga don't know shit. Esau don't know shit. All right? He thinks he's all big and bad. He thinks he's a god. Because he got a laptop and an iPhone. Because he can FaceTime. The nigga thinks he's a god because he has a satellite. Whoa, a satellite. Fucking. He's a damn demon. He's the basis of the nations, and we're witnessing his end. We're witnessing his empire fall, and these people don't even know it. These people was so-called planning for their future. Fuck a goddamn future in this place, man. I don't want shit from this place. In the book of Hebrews, it says, Here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. You ain't never gonna have shit here, man. We're looking for the end of this place. When me and dude was talking at work, I I I want to see the end. Like man, if Trump get in there, he gon he gon bomb niggas, man. He gon bring the end faster than than Kamala would. Good, put Trump in then. That's what I want. Whoever gon bring the end faster, which really is ultimately of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, the Lord's gon put in office who he put in office. I believe it's gonna be Trump. Okay, I think Trump gonna come with them them Draco laws, man. Them draconian that draconian legislation, which is what we need. Come down, come down, having great wrath. And the Book of Revelation says the devil shall come down having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. The time is short for this empire, for this world, for this kingdom, and these people don't even know it. These people was looking 10 years in the future, 20 years in the future. I'm hoping in the next 10, 10, 20 days, something, you know what I'm saying? Something go down, something spark some more prophecy. All right. Something shorten the days even more. And it don't, it's not going to take much. Okay. We at that, we at that point in time where it's not going to take too much. To spark the rest of the prophecies. They all go hand in hand. In the book of Ezekiel, it talks about the um the 
is the book of Ezekiel 12 and 23. It says, tell them, therefore, I'll start at verse 22. It says, son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel? Saying, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say to them, the days are at the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. We in that time of all the visions coming into effect, all the prophecies coming into fu fu fruition. Habakkuk chapter two and verse one. I will stand upon my watch. And this is what we're watching for. This is what we're looking for. Going through articles, different alternative news media. Looking and seeing what's going on over here with the with the politics. All right. With the with the um, presidential campaigns and looking and seeing what they doing over there in the Middle East and. What Russia and its allies got going on. This is what we're looking for, man. We're looking for the prophecies because prophecies is definitely in the news. Popping like popcorn. Precepts popping off the page like a pop-up book. I'm reading a precept and then I look up and I'm seeing it happen in real time. I'm reading Ezekiel 38 talking about how Gog is going to be a guard to his allies. How Gog is going to be a guard to the Persians. And then I look up and I'm seeing in the news how Russia and Iran is gearing up for war. Which Russia is Gog and Iran is the Persians in that Ezekiel 38. It also mentions different African countries. And I'm looking in the news and I'm seeing how Russia is over there doing deals with African countries. How Russia is giving them defense systems. How Russia is doing business. With the same people that's mentioned in Ezekiel. Togomar. Gomer. Seeing Russia. Seeing how everything is playing out with Turkey. The days are at hand. The effect of every vision. We just got to continue to wait. And as we wait, we must be occupied, like the Lord said. He said, occupy. He said, uh, occupy. Let's see. Um, in, in, in Sirach, it says, be occupied in prophecy. Let me see. Luke chapter 19 and 13, it says, And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Occupy. Occupy means to be busy. Be busy in what? In prophecy. Be busy in what? Watching. Going back into that Habakkuk 2. I will stand upon my watch. That's what we got to be occupied in. Our watch. Being on guard. Being on go. And set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me when I and, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And he may run that readeth it. And that's what we've done through the spirit and power. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We running with his message. We spread in the word. We warn the people. We sound in the trumpet in Zion. And we see our words that the Lord has put into our mouth come into pass. Starting with the apostles and the elders. It says in the book of 2nd Edges, the 15th chapter, Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put into your mouth. Let not the incredulity and the unbelief of these people trouble you because all the unfaithful will die in their unfaithfulness. As these people is moving on this earth like Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai ain't about to judge it. They're going to get caught up in them plagues, man. Like a thief in the night. It's going to catch them off guard. It's going to catch them unaware. 
Verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. We're at the end. The end of what? The end of this world. The end of this empire. The end of America calling the shots. The end of the Edomites. The devil that the Bible speaks of ruling the world, policing the earth, making the laws. These wicked ass laws, man. This guy's supposed to be some, some genius, the highest IQ. But he allows men to sleep together. Women to scissor each other. But he's a god. He has the highest IQ. Yeah, nigga, eat pork. Nigga, eat swine. And he's supposed to be the... the Highest evolution of mankind. Right? It says, But at the end it shall speak, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it shall surely come, it will not tarry. Shall surely come. And we see it's here. Alright? And it's not going to tarry. It, meaning what? It's, it's not going to be prolonged like that Ezekiel said. It's a lot, girl. Yeah. So Habakkuk 2 and 3 in the NLT, it says the vision is for a future time. We in the future now. It's present now. It's happening. It describes the end. We're describing the end to you. How we, We're telling you how it goes down. We're telling you how it ends. There's a movie recently that came out in the past five years. How it ends. We're telling you how it ends. Matter of fact. Matthew chapter 24 in verse 3. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? When Yahweh Shai returns whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he's going to end this world. He's going to end this empire. Motherfuckers don't know that. Y'all think he's going to return and, and be all sweet, be all nice. The Lord ain't nice. <laughs> all right? He's an austere man. Okay? Not, you know, nice. That's like, this nigga nice, bruh. Not in the good, not in the good way. Like this nigga, not he's soft, he's sweet. He ain't like that, right? That's what they painted the image of the Messiah to be. But he's a man of war. It says in righteousness, he doeth judge and wage war. The slain of the Lord shall be many, from one in the earth to the other. He's not coming to play with nobody. He's not coming to talk and negotiate. Ain't no negotiating. I'm thinking about Independence Day. The first one they asked the they asked it was an alien, but you know that's how they try to depict you know the angels, some alien, some creepy ass creature. But they asked them like, "What do you want?" And the alien was like, "Death." I believe that's what he said. Look, go look up the clip. It's like death. That's it. There was no negotiating with him. He didn't say, I want a, a billion, fulfilling trillion dollars. Like Dr. Evil. Nah, he's like, nah, we, we coming to take over. We ain't coming to take part. We coming to take over. We coming to bring this place down. Okay? And that's what Yahweh Shai and his angels is coming to do. Coming to end this place. Right? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying... I am anointed and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So he's describing the end of this empire, the end of this world. And we're seeing these things happen. Wars is taking place right now. And rumors of wars is also taking place. Things will escalate. And violence will suddenly burst in the land. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. 
but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be families and pestilence. There's a lot of families. Uh, I was thinking of that scripture. It talks about how, um, you know, the man's foe shall be there of his own house. And the Lord is coming not to bring, pre not to bring peace, but a sword. All right. But, the, but division. All right. It says. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are happening. This is a very brief description of the end. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. And as we read throughout the prophecies, as we read throughout Isaiah and Jeremiah and Ezekiel and Habakkuk, where we was just at. Second Ezra and Revelations, as we read throughout the Bible, it goes into a deeper description of how this empire will end. And we're seeing it all take place going back into that Ezekiel. The effect of every vision. We're seeing the prophecies happen on the earth, showing you that we're in that time where the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus, is really being Yahweh Shai, will return. And when he returns, he's only coming to save a select few. Right. As we read earlier in this chapter, he's shortening the days for the elect's sake. For the chosen of the nation of Israel and the chosen of the nation of Israel is moving in a certain vibration, is moving in a certain spirit. All right. And it's preparing for his return. Not preparing physically, but spiritually. Scriptures say, take heed unto yourself. That your hearts be not overcharged with surfeiting. Drunkenness and the cares of, your, of this world That that day come upon you unaware It said watch and pray That ye may be able to escape the said perils And stand before the son of man So we got to keep our eyes open We got to stay in prayer We got to keep on fasting We got to be doing everything that we can To get closer to our God To our power Because he's the one bringing the end. And he's the only one that can save us from the end. In the book of Ezekiel, the seventh chapter says, the end is come. Ezekiel 7 and 3. Now is the end come upon thee and I will send mine anger upon thee. So we must be doing everything in our power to appease the Lord's anger, appease the Lord's wrath. And we do that by Kissing the son or submitting and worshiping the son. It says, kiss the son lest he be angry with you and you perish from the way. And will judge thee according to thy, to thy ways. It says, seeing that all these things will be dissolved. That's how this world is. That's how uh, this empire is going to end. That's how America is going to end. Fire and brimstone. Right? Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. These people aren't living godly. Godly means to be godlike. How do you be godlike? By listening, by submitting. By giving heed to God's word. The heavenly father's word. Yahweh. Which is being taught correctly through his prophets. His, his, his prophets. His apostles. His teachers. Who have been sent out for the edifying of the body. And the perfecting of the saints. Okay. It says. And thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee. All these people are fucking abominations, man. These niggas act like they high value. These so-called high... Uh, Drake. In this world, Drake is a high value man. He, he's famous. He has money. The nigga paints his nails. He's a body man. Right? These niggas be doing immoral ass shit. Just because you have a high net worth or you're a high earner, that does not make you a high value. In the book of Wisdom of Solomon, it says, Though a man be never so perfect in the eyes of men, yet if my wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. 
You ain't shit in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. If you're not living according to his word, according to his wisdom, you're an abomination. He's about to do away with all abominations. It says, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord in evil and only evil behold is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watch it for thee. Behold, it is come. Okay? We are at the end of this world. Did I finish on that second Ezra? Let's read that. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 7. It says, Then answered I and said, What? What shall be the parting asunder of times, or when shall be the end of the first, and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, es Jacob's, like it, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So we're in the end of Esau's world. The end of his rulership, the end of his, of his empire. And Jacob is next. The Israelites will rule in the world to come. And that world has no end. That empire, that's the only empire that will, that will never fall. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse... 17, but Israel, but who? But Israel, no, all people, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. That's the world that the Lord loved. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. He's talking about the nation of Israel, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. world without end a rulership never to be destroyed russia these niggas talking about russia is gonna evade israel you dumb nigga in the kingdom you dumb stupid idiots this is daniel chapter 2 and verse 44 it says and in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed in the days of these kings. While these kings are still on top. While these kings are still sitting on the throne. The power to God. The most high Yahweh of heaven. He will build up his kingdom. As these niggas is still ruling. He's doing just that. He's raising up the tabernacles of David. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai is raising up his kingdom. How is he doing that? By raising up his servants. He said, if this was my kingdom, my servants would fight. He said, the kingdom of heaven is within you. So he's raising his kingdom up by raising up his servants. And what is his servants doing? What he asked us to do. Go to the highways and hedges. And bid them to the marriage. Standing upon our watch. Crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up our voice like a trumpet and showing the Lord's people their transgressions in the house of Israel, their sins. Okay. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. It shall break in pieces and it's being broken Starting with this word is not my word like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces because you speak my word. I'll make the word in your mouth fire and these people would. So this place is being broken down by the spirit of the Lord's mouth. And he when he returns, it will be completely consumed by fire. Literal fire. OK. That's how it ends. That's how it was going down. So, having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. Just thinking about this chapter that we're in, Daniel's, you know, it, it's, it's a statue that Nebuchadnezzar seen in his dream. And that statue represented the different empires that would rise and that would fall. Babylon rose and it fell. 
the Medio Persian Empire, they rose and they fell. After that was the Greek Empire. Same thing. They rose and when they came into power, they were strong and then they fell. Rome was no different. Rome had its beginning. Rome had its ending. And now we're in the midst of the Ten Toes, which is this current power structure that we're under. America, NATO, the EU, that whore riding upon the beast. It rose. Now it's falling. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachachodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Rachachodash. Is the Holy Spirit. Oh, Salakia. That speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Today, elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, never well. Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, my brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is nearer than we believe. Shalom.